Uh, Verana, Jakob Verana getting closer to a return, DMAC. He was cleared for contact last week, and this is something where me putting Zadina, I don't want to say on the clock, but you know, for me with Zadina, it was a big season for him. I was told, DMAC, I was told that this is a key component for Philip Zadina to uh, to get back in the action as far as, you know, getting on pace for that 20-goal season that I was looking for. Uh, Helen, uh, Helen St. James said Jeff Blaschel said that Jakob Verano will start controlled contact practices. Didn't want to put a timetable on availability availability day to day, but you know, you you've lived under that clock before, DMAC. When you're cleared for contact, what's a typical timetable? Yeah, and I think in this case it's different because he's had season-ending surgery at the beginning of the year, so you're probably going to take when he's going to say when he's cleared and he's going to say he's good, you might give it to looking at the schedule. But, uh, you know, if I'm going to look at the schedule um, right now for the wings and stuff like this, and I said last week that I was shooting for um, shooting for one of these, you know, it'd be nice to get him in one of these home games. I wouldn't – we got a home stretch coming up, obviously, tomorrow against Colorado will be a big game. Then Saturday, um, I guess Toronto. But, uh, you know, maybe next week even against Carolina, but probably looking at the schedule even more. So about two weeks? Yeah, you, you know what? Or, or I wouldn't be surprised that he doesn't come back on this – on this home stretch, you let them skate it out. You don't give them the pressure and the excitement because coming back at home, the expectations, you're going to try to do too much. So I see the Tampa, Florida back-to-back, uh, -back, which might be tough. So um, right now, if I was looking anywhere, I'm looking the home game, the eighth, against Arizona. Okay. Just uh, so, That's so what, a Tuesday rough, night? roughly three weeks from now. Okay. Maybe before that, but you just look at the way that the schedule plays out and what game. Maybe you throw them into one of those games in Tampa or whatever, but I don't think that benefits you because of where those teams are. So if I'm shooting at the perfect game right now for, for Verona, it's the uh, it's March 8th. All right, here's the Arizona. deal. Hopefully I'm busy. Hopefully I'm in Indianapolis uh, with Oakland. You won't be. If I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not. You want to go? Let's go. Let's go. We're done. It's, All right. it's, it's booked. All right. Let's go. Book it. Book it. If, Wait, if I'm in on. town, we're going. What did, did I say the 8th? Let yeah. me just see if it's like a. It's a Tuesday. If it, no, no. But if it's an easy. And the club's going up on a Tuesday. If it's an easy book. Oh, ho. No, good. I'm not even working it that night, so we can go. I got All it right. off. We can there go. We go. I can actually go and enjoy. <laughs> there you go. We'll, we'll do that. Go and enjoy. We'll, we'll but, roll but out. But to your point. I'll leave, right. I'll, I'll leave my uh, Coyotes uh, Kachuk jersey at home, okay? You can I'll wear whatever you want. You know, I know how, how diehard you are. <laughs> but but here's the point. We're, and, and that's just being smart looking at the schedule. Why? Because you play some tough games. Sure. And you want him to come back in a formidable situation. And against Arizona, that would be one of them. So, again, that's still three weeks. There's still a lot of games in there. You look at, uh, you know, uh, you look at Joey Valeno got sent down, which means he, um, you look at Romney and Stevens getting, getting an opportunity. You saw Jamel Smith get re-picked, put on waivers, and picked up by Tampa again, which means there wasn't, you know, there's not enough room here. The room's getting tighter here because guys are fighting for spots. So, again, the worst thing you can do, this is great news, but again, because he's so valuable, because it was a season uh, sh shoulder surgery out for the whole season, this is now sort of look at it like he's cleared. Now his training camp started, right? Two weeks of training camp, get him back in. He could be in sooner, but I'm just looking at the schedule because then you got a couple home games, and then there's no pressure. Uh, on our YouTube chat thread, uh, Mike G says, Sawyer, would you call the Juwan Howard situation a Donnybrook? Oh, I haven't heard that one before. No, Don, I got a comic book named Donnybrook. <laughs> would you well, call hockey, it? Uh, uh, hockey, but that's not a Donnybrook. That, uh, was, more, that was more of a melee. Uh, Zeke on our YouTube chat thread. What about Okie Doki, Sawyer? You, 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 I'll you... throw an Okie Doki out there every once in a while. <laughs> you know? uh, Rack says, Rack's on a heater right now. It says, I can see Sawyer telling someone to mind their own beeswax. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, the old beeswax. Yeah. So there, there, you, there you have that as well. Um, you know, it's – so give me the impact, though, DMAC. Uh, Verana, 
I would assume he rolls out them with Zadina. Is, is that how they would do it, right? Try to recreate well, you, that? You would, you would think, and here's the thing that, what are you learning? This gives you three more weeks to learn, but what, what have you seen in the last few weeks when we talked about Zadina moving up to the front, to the first line, and then you put that second line together, you put the Guelph Storm line together. You have options, no matter what it is, but your expectations coming back is that Zadina's got confidence because the confidence is, is that he's getting opportunities more opportunities playing first line minutes, but it's not. It you won't see him go, I guess, back unless it's ca- it's hurting his overall game, right? Because number right. one is is as long as his his two way game's there, so then it should be sort of a plug and play, and who's going to be there? The big the big question now, because you're asking me these questions and stuff like this, yes, because I want to know. No, right? no, That's no, what no, I was told. no, you, That's what no, I was told. no, wait, wait, I'm I'm. This is nothing to do with you. This is a yes. We are at this point where we can seriously talk about having talented forwards and stuff. Where are they going to fit in, right? Where are they going to fit in the lineup to be, to be scorers? Now, I would I would expect, but I don't know. But you also got to keep going. That Dylan Larkin and Bertuzzi and and Raymond and all these guys aren't going to stop going. Could I see something with Verona, Raymond, Zadina? Yeah. Because then you got Larkin, uh, Larkin and, and Bertuzzi with, with Fabry or Suter or whoever. It depends on what coach wants to do. But again, being healthy, it, it, what you're going to see and even moving into as you look into training camp next year with, with, without any of the draft picks, without any of the guys that are doing things, not even in Europe or in the minors, there's – Openings, fight for the jobs and stuff like this. What you want is these guys healthy, right, to get the opportunity. And here's the other, right? When you don't have all your pieces, you can only speculate. When you have your pieces, now you operate. Now, now, now you operate. it's operate, yeah. right? So to to your, when Veron is back this last month, sort of like it was last year after the trade, line, trade deadline and getting them, what are you going to see? And that's... Again, I'm expecting to see a Verona offensive step up. I'm, I'm expecting these two to get back to where they were. Um, and now the whole key, Neil, is to stay healthy and be able to do it together. right? Because no matter how talented you are, if you're not in the lineup, you're not available. You know, the NFL, it's availability, right? So, so it gets exciting, and it makes it for a team that, that isn't a playoff team, that isn't a team that I think is going to make the playoffs, worth watching down to the wire. This seems going to ruin, I, I, I am, I am gonna ruin somebody's hopes and dreams down the stretch. I, I, and I am getting that with them where it's not it's not fake to me like like the like the Tigers you know the, the Tigers recent run where you know over, over the last even going back 3 years but this Red Wings team there there is and and I just feel this right like I'm a common sports fan like everybody else. I do feel this with this Red Wings team where I do want to check in. You know, I, I do yes. want to see what's going on on a day-to-day basis. I do want to see what the development is. And, and you know why? You want to know why the reason that is? It's because they pop up and they beat the Rangers, or it's because they pop up and win a game that they shouldn't win. Because that's the telltale to me. That is. That's the telltale to me, and that's why I'm pretty high on this Red Wings team right now. Is because there are tangible results that you can look at and you can say that right there. That right there shows you that they are capable of competing. Now, the youth and the things that we have talked about in the past, defensively and the lapses and all that kind of stuff, the lack of consistency, that's always going to hold this team back until they gain that experience or until the personnel changes, which, you know, full faith in Steve Eiserman. Again, based on resume, it's not hope. I have data that, that I go off on that. And, you know, maybe I'm being a little too shiny, I guess I would say. But I do – I honestly feel no, that about not. this team. No. I honestly feel Here, that about this do team. Do you remember when LCA was getting built? Yes. Right? They used to keep a camera across over where the Fox is uh, in the Parker structure. Yeah. And then they would let – watch – you could watch. You could go on the website and see how it was the being time built. Time lapse and everything. Right? Time right. lapse. Now, for a long time at the beginning of building something, the people who built houses or whatever, you can use it as the empty lot in the neighborhood. You drive by, you drive by, you drive by, and then one day something small is sort of there, like they're building something. And the foundation sort of doesn't come to it, but then all of a sudden you drive by and you see, oh, it's developing into something. Oh, that's exactly what this Red Wings team is. That's exactly where, where I'm at, where – 
it's not I got to watch every minute of every game, but I'm I know when they play, you know, dialed in, games on, turn it on. Some games it's like pff, pff, I'm going to watch Oak Island. You know, or something like that <laughs> hey, because spoiler they, alert, they're not going to find anything. They got to tomorrow they're finding something. Here we go, something. Sawyer. Sawyer, here we go. Yes, they are. For sure. We know there's stuff down there. Anyways, <laughs> um but the fact is that because and it's easier to commit when you see something. Right when you when you see what are you stuff. talking about? You just you've been watching Oak Island for years. Yeah, now, but they and- have gold. They they see they're finding stuff. They got wood down. There. You can't go down <laughs> like two like a hundred feet and bring up these wood poles that you can't say there's nothing down there. So don't you just worry about what I do in my spare time. You reached into the video. You know what you should do? Press like. You know you like the content that we have here, Wood Sports Network. I'm Braylon Networks from the bottom line. Subscribe to us right now.